Have you heard the story of the oldest British motorcycle aviation clothing company before? This is a company that is as old as the Telegraph, AKA the thing that we all now carry in our pockets everywhere that we go. It's no small feat to build a company that can last over a century, let alone nearly maintaining its heritage and roots, selling basically the same things that it was selling over a hundred years ago. Lewis Leathers is one of those companies. Specializing in motorcycle and aviation gear, they were the originator of the Bronx style leather jacket, which if you don't know by name, you definitely know it by how it looks. But their history runs deeper than that. And today we're gonna talk about that. Okay, so Lewis Leathers was started in 1892, actually under the name D. Lewis, originally providing gent suits and rain gear, raincoats. It wasn't until 18 years later in 1910 that they actually transitioned to selling more aviation gear, motorcycle gear, and things that they're more well known for today. Their market in England was pretty wide due to the infamous damp British climate. They were perfectly geographically located on Great Portland Street, which was actually a huge hub for auto manufacturing and accessories and things of that nature. This street was actually known as Motor Row, believe it or not. And Motor Row at this time was also the center of the clothing trade in England. They would go on to provide aviation gear to multiple countries throughout Europe, which eventually morphed into their brand Avia Kit. Through this brand, they provided items such as goggles, boots, and helmets, and different things that pilots would need in their day-to-day -day lives. As mentioned before, they were the company that introduced the Bronx style leather jacket in 1956, which is a very infamous jacket. The jacket quickly became a symbol of youth after the banning of Marlon Brando's film, The Wild One, and it is still in production today in its original form over 70 years later, which is pretty crazy. In 1960, they rebranded to the company that we now know today, which is Lewis Leathers. And throughout the latter half of the 20th century, we were bought and sold by a couple of different owning entities. And as mentioned before, it's amazing when a company like this can survive for over a century, really staying linked to their heritage and roots and the things that they're providing 100 years ago, still providing those same things today. As mentioned, the products that they offer today pretty much differ in no part from what they did offer over a century ago, besides a couple of different accessories and things like that. Most well known for their outerwear, they continue to provide a few different styles of leather jackets, both in men's and women's, ranging from the more biker-esque styles, such as the Bronx style jacket, to more classic styling, such as this Corsair number 60. They do also offer a couple of cotton wax jackets that connect with their heritage as a company protecting its customers from the damp British weather. Additionally, they offer some leather glove styles. This pair has actually been on my wish list for a while now since learning about the company about a year ago. They also offer leather boots geared toward motorcycle riders, as well as a couple of different sneaker styles. On top of that, they offer things like pins, a couple of different bag options as well, some very embellished, I will say, belt styles, and even some denim pants. If you're looking for a custom leather jacket to invest in, this could be the company for you. They do offer custom leather jacket making that utilize a variety of different horse leathers in different colors, as well as custom linings and detailing for you to build your perfect custom jacket that will last you a lifetime. As usual, there's things that I missed that I didn't mention in this video. And if you are interested in learning more about them, go check them out in the link below in the description. If you are familiar with them and their history and their background, or if you own any pieces by them, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below as well. For now, that's all I have for y'all today. I'll see y'all Sunday. Peace out.